What is up, my dudes, and welcome to another episode. Today's a little bittersweet, man. I, I you know, it, it's uh, we get to go fishing, which is a good thing. We've got good weather, but who knows if this is going to be my last fishing trip for the foreseeable future. There's a lot of uncertainty out there right now. And so we, we just don't know what's going to happen. And so I'm just going to go out and enjoy the day today. Uh, I'm, I'm thankful that I get one more day on the water. You know, I wish everyone the best in this crazy times we're in right now. All we're going to do today is go out, go fishing. We may catch us something to eat, bring it back home, cook it, who knows. But uh, hey, let's go make it happen. So let me kind of tell you guys what we're doing, all right? We're Carolina rigging these live shrimp right here and we're pitching them down the structure in 15 to 20 foot of water in hopes to catch sheep's head, uh, mangrove snapper, something edible that we can take home and cook up for lunch. Baby mangrove snapper, that is not what we're looking for here. All right, we want one about five times that big. Look at there. Now guys, this video is sponsored today by none other than mystery tackle box and if you're not familiar with mystery tackle box they're a subscription-based box that you pay monthly for one will show up at your doorstep with all kinds of different lures i'll have linked all that linked in my description below and we're also going to do a mystery tackle box giveaway in this video we got bait number two going down here and it is man we have got a ton of current and a ton oh there's a fish there's a fish right when it got down there oh that's a decent one Oh, he's off. Crap. Dang it, dang it, dang it, man. That was a good fish right there, guys. That was the, uh, a decent right there for sure. All right, we've got another shrimp going down right here. I can't really do a whole lot of really good filming at the moment because we got a lot of wind and current. And so it's really tough for me to stay in one spot right here. But I do think that I can catch some fish. That was a good good bite right there, man. Really good bite. I hadn't been here just a couple minutes. There's another bite. As soon as I get down there, I'm getting bit, folks. Ah, he's off. Man, there's something back on it, I think. Oh, there he is. Ah, another small one. Not a keeper, folks, just another small mangrove snapper. We need them bigger than that. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There he is. There he is. Let me get the net. That's a good one. Oh, big mangrove. Oh, yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. That's what we're after right there, folks. So that's a really nice mangrove right here, guys, for being right in here, inshore, right next to the beach. Uh, that's a fatty and he's going in the uh, in the cooler that's gonna be our lunch today all right I wish I hopefully I'll get a few more to add to the pot we got to try to do that again guys that was a really really nice fish on light tackle I got to get a new hook he uh, he completely ruined my hook you're the next shrimp to die here buddy let's get you going here Pitch it that way a little bit. Oh, there's the bite. There's the bite. I ah, just grabbed. He did not take it all the way, man. Dang. Come on. He's back on it. There. Oh. <laughs> it's Mangrove City down there. Oh, he's back on it. He's got it. Ah, there he is. Ah. Another small one. We're not really after the small ones. It's okay, I mean, still a pretty fish, nonetheless. A fish is a fish, I'm not complaining, but I'm wanting something I can keep, you know. Let's grab us, a, uh, grab us another shrimp. I'm going to get a big shrimp, see what they do to the big shrimp here. No shortage of bites out here, guys. There's lots of fish. I just got to get a couple more, couple more big ones. 
I may go try to hit the beach in a minute and get some Spanish. Maybe try to get a red on the way in. Who knows? Folks, this is the definition of social distancing right here. And I, I've got it going in full force. Not another boat around. Beautiful morning out here. Catching a few fish. We've got a shot at big sheep's head here too. That's really what I'm wanting. Oh, I'm already on here. Yep, I'm on. That's a good one. Oh, he broke me off. Crap, man. Dang it. He got me. That was a big fish. That was a big fish I just lost right there, folks. A big fish. I'm gonna, uh, I gotta drop back down. Get after him, man. That's, that's unfortunate. There's another bite. Little bite, though, man. I want that big bite again. Come on. Come on. There he is. That's a good one. A decent, I think. Ah, uh, maybe not. Dang it. <sighs> nope. That is a keeper. They only have to be 10 inches long in the state of Florida. But I, uh, and he is right on it, but I'm not going to keep him. Just because I know there's big ones down there. And, uh, they're going to try to, try to get a big one, so. Another shrimp. I do think they're starting to bite a little bit though, guys. Let's see how quick it takes before they bite it. All right, I'm down. There's the bite, there's the bite. There he is. Come on, come on, come on. He's a good one, this is a good one, I think. This is a good one. This is a good fish right here, guys, good fish. Come here, come here, come on, get up here, get up here. Oh, it's a sheep, it's a sheep head. That's why it's a good one, look at there. <laughs> I was like, dude, what do I got? So here's another keeper right here, folks, to add to the mix. Now in the state of Florida, they gotta be 12 inches. This guy right here is right at 15. So we're gonna put him in the box and uh, hey, that's gonna go to the little, our little lunch that we're cooking up today. Uh, they're already biting it. I don't know if he's got it in his mouth all the way or not, but it's... They're biting it. As hot and heavy as they can bite it. There he is. Another one. Another small guy, though, man. Look at there. There, are so, there must just be thousands of mangroves down there, guys. It's every cast. I can't stop now that the bite's turned on. I gotta keep it going here. Can't stop now that the bite has turned on. All right, let's see this time how long it takes to get that hit when we get down here. Oh, yep, he just popped it. He just popped it. Let's see if he'll take it all the way though. He got my bait. He got the bait, dude. Come on. Come on, Brent. Step up your game, dog. You got to step up your game, dude. They're getting your bait. There he is. There he is. Got him. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one, guys. That's a good one. Come on. Let me get the net. Let me get the net. Come on. Put him in the ego. That's a good one, baby. Nice snapper. Yes, sir. Another big mangrove. Whew. All right. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's try to get one more good one before we go back and start cooking. That boat over there uh, better keep his distance. I'm going to start coughing. It, it, we're already getting a bite again. We're already getting a bite again. Come on. Dude, we are straight smoking them out here. Oh, there he is. Come on. There's the bite. Ah. Oh man, I'm hung. Crap. Okay, now he's off. I thought I had a freaking tank. All right, we're gonna clean these bad boys up real quick. And we're gonna kinda clean them just like we did the vermilion snapper in our last video. These are, uh, we're just gonna go right down the side 
and then take the meat off the skin super freaking easy like that and you're left with a nice mangrove snapper filet and we can take home and cook up check out what we're what we're left here with folks that's just a uh, nice big handful of fillets right there that we're going to take home and we're going to cook up that's going to be good this looks like a little party out back here yeah, she's already got everything set up. And look at this, guys. Our fish is marinating in Italian dressing back here. So, man, you're doing it right. Well, Italian dressing, pickle juice, olive oil seasonings. <laughs> pickle juice. Check out that shirt right there. Let's, let's, what does it say? Bacon gre grease goddess. Goddess, bacon grease goddess. <laughs> let's start that with. is an awesome shirt. Bacon. We've got us a little backyard quarantine party going on here, folks. So we're gonna get a little bit of grease going. This is essentially gonna be the fat that I cook the fish in. We got our butter and our bacon grease in. Let's go ahead and add our fish that we had in our pickle juice and olive oil. So I got the fish out, and now I'm gonna just saute up some vegetables, and then I think we'll be ready to eat. Awesome, looking good. Can't do a backyard cookout without drinking a cold beer. And let's see how it turned out. Very good. I'm definitely tasting the, um, you know, I marinated in that dill pickle juice and you can actually taste that. And I think just this, the cayenne definitely. And then, you know, obviously we added those veggies at the end there. Which just cooked in all the bacon fat and the butter all together. You wanna try it? This plate is hot. Man, that is so good. You know what I like better than anything, though, is that we just have the ability and the freedom, and we're blessed enough to be able to jump in a boat like I did this morning, go out, catch these fish, bring them home, cook them. We are truly, truly blessed. No matter what's going on in our country right now, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm staying positive. I'm staying motivated. When you can do things like this, I'm going to continue to be making these videos. Um, as much as I can possibly make them. Who knows what the future holds. We're uh, in a state of uncertainty right now, but uh, I'm gonna keep putting out as much content as I possibly can for you guys. And uh, you know, so be expecting it. You know, I'm not letting this whole situation get me down. I'm gonna keep pushing forward and we're gonna all come out the other side.